welcome back to life with Aisha. before i get into this video i just want to say i hope everyone had a merry christmas and just a happy holiday season overall i know i did i enjoyed the family time and everything but before this year ends i did want to bring you all another sneaker vid basically of my top 10 fave pickups of the year so that's what we're doing today um they're not going to be in any particular order just because i kind of just have them over here tucked to the side like stacked up so they're gonna i'm gonna show them to you in the order that they're stacked um i kind of have them stacked by box sizes so that'll kind of give you a little hint are these are the flame vans old school these for a while i'm not sure but i think i showed this in my last haul video or if it wasn't my last one it's the one before that but this is just how they look and i totally love this shoe i picked these up from either zoomies or tilly's it was one of like those like skate type of shops um i actually got this t-shirt from the exact same store not the same day but yeah and i always wanted the flame ones i'm really into like the flame look on different shoes and stuff i have so many things with this print on it so it was like a no-brainer to just grab these in my top 10 because i haven't really purchased a lot of shoes this year i really slowed down because i'm trying to be more selective with stuff i buy i no have noticed with my closet like i have an overflow of things that i don't need and things that i probably just won't wear so i've been trying to minimalize a little bit so um yeah i picked 10 shoes to do i was going to do like my whole 2018 collection but that would have took much longer than I wanted it to take. I think I picked up maybe 20, 22 pairs of shoes when I counted how many shoes I picked up this year. Um, probably like 25 pair if I count like the slides and stuff I got. If y'all see this light doing anything weird, it's because <laughs> I'm bumping into it some kind of way here. So don't mind that. The next pair are another pair of Vans and these are the vans yacht club what drew me to this shoe was not only the colors of it because i am kind of colorful at heart i'm not as colorful as i used to be but definitely definitely like in high school and different stuff i was known as like that girl that i was wore all the colors but um this is how they look it's just like the primary colors i plan on wearing these soon i picked up a nice little swiss shirt hopefully um it comes in the mail and i like it because i picked it up to match these but it has like the royal blue the green the yellow and the red and it comes with the regular set of laces here they have like these boat kind of laces that come in the shoe so i thought that was also a cool aspect i had mentioned that i was selling a pair of these because i ended up buying like three different sizes of these just for like resale purposes not that i resell a lot of stuff but i saw a little bit of profit so i did end up selling all of those and this is a pair and i picked these up where did i grab these from i think was this size or in clothing it was one of those like uk websites but um i got them in an eight in women and the box was just so little to me like it just seemed so tiny to me which i'm not mad at and these are a pair of the nike cortez or as we used to say um i guess i think people still call them it but the um the gangster nikes so um or there's another female sneaker head on here her name is like sherlina neom i'm sure you know about her everybody knows about her she's like one of like a real dope person she has like a huge shoe collection but she said that they call them like nikes so like the gangster nikes but um this is the color it's just a classic colorway from the forrest gump movie i had to pick these up not because the corsets are like a fave of mine because i just um i just haven't really ever gotten into this model like that i only own this is like probably my third pair of shoes like this so i don't own a lot of them but definitely had to pick these up they have i've yet to wear these i will be wearing them probably soon i got me a cool little outfit <laughs> to wear with them so once i figure out my outfit for stuff eventually it gets worn and yeah this is how they look the shoes that jenny gave them like a lot of people had jokes about these um a lot of people that i sent them to that i got on it was just like <laughs> so you got the gumps but um yeah that's just how they look and i like that the inside of it right here is leather i'm thinking that the other ones i got are kind of like satin um right here so that was cool to Ooh, me right along to the next box um as you can see it's kind of been like a checks over stripes year for me <laughs> in a sense but the next ones are a pair of um vapor max the nike air max vapor max plus 
So, um, I still had a little card in here. I got these from sneakers and stuff. I'm always on a UK website for the most part. But, um, I did wear these once. I mean, I love the comfort of them. Um, they're probably one of, like, the most comfortable shoes that I've worn this year as far as, like, a new model that I had never bought before or worn. But, um, I own, like, a pair of the Vapor Max. I mean, I own a pair of the Air Max Plus, but not the Vapor Max with the Vapor Max bottom. So, this is, this is how they look. If you remember, I know a lot of females will remember, this colorway and another colorway came out at the same time. And the other one was like overly hyped. I think I touched on it in a video already, but um, it was like, I think it was orange and turquoise or yellow or something like that. But it was more a springtime shoe. And I just felt like, well, if this shoe having the royal blue kind of fading into like this purple, pinkish burgundy color, um, I felt like I definitely could get more wears out of these. I still have these tied from the last time I wore them. But um, I've only worn them once. I don't really wear my shoes as often as I would like because um, due to just working at different things, I don't get a chance to really wear anything until the weekend and that being maybe Friday, but mostly Saturday, sometimes Sunday. Just depends on what I have planned for the week. But yeah, I thought these were dope. I do plan on picking up more Vapor Max. I'm kind of trying to wait just to see, like, is this trend going to kind of die? What do you think? Do you think it's going to, like, continue on and keep flourishing? Or do you think it's kind of on the end aspects of, like, yeah, it's kind of fading away a little bit? It would definitely be in my top five, maybe top three. Um, top three, no pun intended, but maybe top three pickups of this year just because I always wanted this shoe. Um, I had the white cements, I had the fire red, um, threes, I had the true blue threes, but I never had a chance to get the black cement threes. And honestly, the threes, um, are kind of one of my top, another, like a top five Jordan model to me because the comfort level is just an iconic look. You have the elephant print here and just the leather on the shoe is just really well put together. So I do love these. I've got a couple words out of these, not as many as I want. I actually had planned to double on, up on this shoe because I wanted like one pair that I was gonna just like wear all the time, kind of beat <laughs> a little bit, but that's just not me to just wear a shoe a lot. But I may pick up another pair of these in the near future. Um, it did sit for a while. I'm pretty sure these are still on shelves, at least in my size and the gray school size. Um, and like my area, I haven't really tested that theory, but I think these are kind of still sitting on shelves and they did restock a lot. So definitely I'm pretty sure I can find them online for like under retail if I really wanted to get another one. And the iconic Nike Air on the back, like I just love this shoe. It's just a classic overall Jordan a pair of Air Max Plus, um, teens. And I wore these this past weekend to the movies. I... Just kind of went with the flow. I didn't have any plans to wear these. Honestly, when I bought these, I bought these in mind that they were definitely going to be like a summer shoe. And I was going to have to wear them like, because it's mostly like a neon upper here. And it's like, um, it kind of has that sunset effect at the bottom. And then it fades into like this kind of neon yellow. But it's not true neon because it's not super duper bright. I, I don't know if the camera is picking up the color on it. But, um... Yeah, and I am going to wear these again, definitely when summer hits. The crazy thing is, when I bought these, I was like, I wish they would retro the um, the Sunset Air Maxes. And obviously they did. They did the Sunset color and they did the, um, what's the blue color called? I can't remember right now. And I do want to pick those two up, so... I probably will in the near future, but yeah, I'm, I'm happy I got this color, but I definitely would have held out a little longer had I known that those other two colorways were releasing. And they got a cool box. They got like this, like the OG box with it. So that kind of sucks in a sense, but overall good pickup. Whew, okay, so anyway, I got interrupted a little bit there and yeah, hopefully I still, everything still looks the same as it looked beforehand. I know what number we was at, so let's just keep this ball rolling. The next pair of shoes I have to show, oh my God, why? That's just gonna have to ring because I need to finish filming. I'll call you back. I will call you back. Okay, so the next pair of shoes are, People don't call me until I'm getting ready to film. They literally don't. But anyway, next pair of shoes are these pair of felines here. And 
I actually bought a lot of stuff in this brand this year. I'm shocked that I don't have more to show, but I really wanted to keep this 10 shoes top. So yeah, but this is how they look. The feel like this worked the shoe and it's like this pale pink color. Red and navy feel symbol here. It does have feel like right here, but it's in that same pink color. It's just like stitched in the shoe. The tongue of the shoe and right here on the back of the shoe here. But um, yeah, I thought it was an overall cool shoe. I have yet to wear these as well than to wear with them. I hadn't really cracked down on what outfit I want to wear with these yet. So once I figure it out, I will be wearing these. I also want to pick up the white ones, just like the white, the red and navy, because I like those. And I'm really into like the chunky sneaker shoe wave, dad shoe wave, the last three pair of shoes. And the next pair are these young ones. My box did get a bit damaged when I got these shipped to me. I hate that. And another pair from sneakers and stuff. And normally my stuff from them doesn't come like that. But for some reason these did. And also it could be the weight of I have other boxes stacked on top of it. But I was not a big fan of how my box looks now. Um, this is how they looked. It was just the orange, the um, yellow and navy colorway. I thought about getting the, I think it was white, red and navy. But... That was just so 4th of July Independence Day to me, even though there are that's a cool colorway as well. But I like the outside the box color. So I did pick these up and they're just a thing of beauty if you like shoes like this. Um, they were extremely comfortable. I do feel like I should have went down a half size. I always forget them like Adidas and Reeboks for me to um, go down a half size because they do tend to run bigger on my foot. But... Nonetheless, throw some thick socks on and you're good to go. But that's just how these look. And um, the young one was a, a shoe model that I really liked this year. I'm shocked I didn't pick up more of these. But, you know, who's to say that I won't? These we just talked about on here. And they're on, they are none other than the Jordan 11 Concords. I don't really have to give this shoe any introduction. This is definitely top three pickups, pickups of this year. Because I had been anticipating these being retro again for maybe you know, what the fifth sixth time i don't know the count at this point but that's just how they look um classic black and white tuxedo colorway um yeah dope shoe 45 on the back uh love the patent leather here it's just a crisp shoe doesn't get any better um this is definitely probably not my favorite um 11's colorway but then again maybe not because i love the breads and i love the um space jam colorway as well too so but anyway this is <laughs> this is one definitely one of my faves i just i probably should have saved these for last but oh well oh no i did save the best for last can you guess can you guess can you guess you know that if it's in a box like this they are drum roll <laughs> these are the um Jordan ones and these are the satin it's a long title satin shattered backboards and of course I wanted the original shattered backboards or the um or they the alternate alternate shattered backboards or something like that they have really done a lot with this colorway and they're supposed to be doing uh yet another version of these next year which fingers crossed I can get my hands on those just because I love black and orange like Orange has definitely become a new favorite of mine. Orange is the new black. So, yeah. But um, this is the shoe. I wore these one time. I was going to wear them this past weekend, but I decided to wear those Air Max Plus. But just it's an overall fave of mine. Probably my top fave this year because I felt like I went through a whole lot to get these <laughs> shoes. But nonetheless, they are mine. But, um, yeah, it has a satin um, toe box here. Satin here, satin laces, satin everywhere it has the classic tumble leather here. Um, even has a satin swoosh. Like everything about this shoe is just dope to me. I love this shoe. I really want to get more wears out of it. Just overall, the drum ones have definitely always been kind of like a fave of mine. In high school, I was really big into like Nike Dunks and SBs, and of course the Jordan ones. I mean, they practically are the same shoe in a sense but um yeah so i've always loved this shoe this silhouette is just classic doesn't get any better than this really i've said that about probably three or four shoes so <laughs> 
but I am a bit biased. And they also, um, they came with these white, um, sand laces. I don't know if I would ever put the white ones in. Um, I have to see somebody else do that. Maybe somebody else put the white ones in and they were dope. I just prefer black on the black tongue. Like, I think black laces on the black tongue is just really dope to me. And those are my top 10 shoes of 2018. This has been a crazy year, crazy ride. And you all were there for mostly every step of the way. So, thank you all for rocking with me thus far. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Like this video. Comment down below if some are my top 10 faves were in your top 10 or if you think like I'm crazy some of this stuff didn't deserve to be in the top 10 but that's just the top 10 overall stuff that I picked up this year now if I had to do a top 10 list of things that I tried to get this year or things that I still plan on getting this year then it'd be a totally different list but these are a top 10 of what is currently in my closet some stuff that was in rotation. You know how that goes. But I hope that you all enjoyed this video. And hope you all have a happy new year. Because next time you see me doing a sneaker video. It will be 2019. So happy holidays. Happy new years to everyone. And as always remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I will see you next year. Thanks for watching.